In this video, I'm going to give you a quick tip that could completely change how long it takes for you to remove backgrounds from certain types of designs with a simple one sentence addition in ChatGPT. So without mucking about, let's just get right into it. Okay, so here we are with our original prompt and our original image. And if you notice, we've got this beige tan border all the way around and it's also present in different parts of the design. So what I've discovered really helps me to very seamlessly remove the background on something with a clear border is that we can include this very simple sentence and we just add this one sentence it says background outside the border is bright magenta so after adding that sentence we end up with an image that has a very clear border and this is going to be much easier to work with and i'm going to demonstrate that to you using two different methods okay so here we are in vectorizer ai this is what i use in my personal workflow this one is not free but if you are looking to vectorize things i highly recommend this one we will go through a free option as well later in the video but the reason i like vectorizer ai is because it makes removing elements much easier now if you look at this the original one if we take this and we punch it out we're going to end up with this spot being empty of pixels which is not something we want and we would prefer to have the text be of that color and if we remove it we end up not having it be of that color. So we have a few minor problems here and it makes it so that I can't just punch out the background, save it, download it, and use it immediately. By contrast, if we use this bright magenta background that was a single sentence addition, we can click this bright magenta. There is nothing within the border and we can just punch it out by hiding it and we instantly have a usable design. All we need to do is resize it in whatever vector editor you want to use. So overall, we're gonna get a much cleaner result. Now we're over here in PhotoP. This is a free option. It's very similar to Photoshop. So to use PhotoP, all you have to do is go to photop.com and then you just simply drag your layer over into the drop any files here and then we have the PNG ready to be edited. Okay, so the typical way that you use PhotoP to remove backgrounds is you click the layer, you click this magic wand, and then you click the area that you're gonna wanna remove as the background you're trying to remove. So you click it, and if you could see this selection here, it's pretty messy. If we take that and we delete it, we're left with all kinds of chunks. And then even if we turn up the tolerance, which is how much of the color range you're trying to delete, we turn up the tolerance, we click again, we still end up with this jagged removal. There's partial pixels, there's partial transparency, and it's overall just not going to be quite as clean as if we do it this other way where we have the magenta here. And the reason it is better will become apparent in a second here, but let's go ahead, we click the background, we click the magic wand, and we click the magenta background. And then we hit delete, and we have a far cleaner line than we would have before. And that's because it's very clear what color is trying to be removed. There's an extremely easy to see distinction for photo P. And also inside of the AI generator, we use chat GPT. It's much easier to create a very clean line if we have very bold, distinct colors. So that plays into it as well. Okay. So there we are a single sentence that can really level up how good your images look. It changes how crisp it is. And it's gonna save you a ton of time on all kinds of different designs that have borders in them. Now, you might have noticed how long the original prompt was. And that's because I have a principles-based long prompt building strategy. And if you wanna learn more about how you can use long prompts to get more consistent results, then check out this video over here. And I will see you in that video.